So one of the problems you often find when you're trying to um, take control of a workstation during a pen test or the hackers playing around is USB port control. And that's the, uh, the technology that's stopping someone just plugging in a USB key or their iPhone or whatever and just downloading data willy-nilly. USB port control is there to try and stop data leaking out of the business. Now that can cause us problems because if we're trying to get uh, a foothold onto a workstation in the business um, or in the organization, we're going to need to get some code on there. So what we're going to use is uh, a rather cool bit of kit. It's a USB development board called Teensy. You see the reason why it's uh, called Teensy? It's tiny. Um, this is Teensy++. It's 27 bucks or so on eBay. We used to get hold of, and there's lots of code out there. It's a USB development board, lots of different coders available to, um, to run on it. Now, the particular um, code we're going to be playing around with today is a portion of uh, the Social Engineers Toolkit, or SET. And what we're going to be doing is showing you how easy it can be to work around um, uh, USB port control and also basic antivirus as well. So what I've got here, I've got a Windows virtual machine which is the workstation I'm going to be attacking. And in the background I'm also running a, um, a listener. This happens to be um, good old uh, Metasploit. Fantastic. It's going to be sit, sit there on my hacker machine listening for the connection back. So it really is so straightforward. So you wander into the organization, you've got USB port control in place. All you need to do, plug in your Teensy. Now, What's that going to start doing is now start bypassing USB port control. What it's effectively doing is emulating a keyboard. So now we're actually um, running PowerShell. We're using PowerShell to execute um, uh, Meterpreter in memory. So we're not writing to disk. So conventional antivirus, which um, looks for on-write actions, is going to miss this. Now, if you've got uh, endpoint protection product, which is looking at you know, buffer overflow protection, the heap spray protection, that sort of thing, that's probably going to detect this. But this should be um, almost invisible to straightforward antivirus. It's also quite interesting in that if you're trying to um, find forensic Im um, evidence, if you're looking on the disk, you'll be looking in the wrong place. So unless you've imaged memory, you're going to really struggle to pick up this um, detection. That's all happened now. Now, obviously, that um, popped up and uh, displayed to you. It'd be quite easy to hide that if you needed to. So what I'm going to do now is pop back to good old Metasploit. Um, let's see if we've got a session going on. And yeah, we've got one session. Fantastic. So we're going to interact with that session. And um, we're now, if we have a look, we are now on the vulnerable workstation having exploited it. So as you can see, Teensy is a really cool way to bypass USB port control. What I recommend is make sure you've got endpoint protection running on all of your workstations because that should pick up the type of activity we're looking at. Not in all cases, but certainly most. And don't be put off getting USB port control products. They're good. They do a good job. It's just there are ways of working around them.